Yes. I forgot that was listening to the baseball game. Just got home from Weaver's game where she breaks the all-time record. Kickoffs. I turn on the BYU game, and I'm like, 40-yard touchdown, 49-yard touchdown, 30-yard touchdown. Boom, 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 boom. Virginia has scored touchdowns in less than four plays their last five possessions. It's 42-38 to 38 at halftime. Now, this was a BYU team. People were talking top ten. What? Mendenhall, who sucks, who's from right here. 42 points. BYU goes up in the first half. Yeah, that's top ten. Okay. Well, get this. It's 10.35. They just kicked off the second half. BYU refuses to play on Sundays. They had a late kickoff at home on a Sunday. This game could go into Sunday. Will they call it? Yeah. <laughs> I thought Bell was going to have a coronary. I talked to Clowkey outside after the Weber game, and he says, I gave uh, Rasheed when he broke the record my baseball call. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the whole game. These got to be the two worst defenses in the history of football. Are you kidding me? 87 points. What's that? What did that drive take? A good uh, 45 seconds? That's the whole game. It's back and forth like that the whole game. 87 points already. That'll make a 45-42. And they just kicked off the second half. This game could end up being, I mean, literally could end up being 80-70. to 70, And we're not playing basketball. There's a Ralph Sampson against Danny Ainge. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. <laughs> 12 touchdowns in this game. You heard Ravel. <laughs> 10 of the 12 under two minutes. Got to be a record. All time. NCAA. This could end up being an all time NCAA record game. I mean, it very well easily could be. <laughs> they just kicked off. I mean, this just started second half. There's, you heard that. There's 900 yards of offense basically in one half. Again, they just kicked off the second half. Again, BYU won't play on a Sunday. You do know that. It's 10.45, Mountain Meadow Massacre time. <laughs> it is bonkers. It's nuts. I've never heard anything like it. Keep it going, let's hear it. Time for another pigskin scoring summary brought to you by your Utah pork producers. Utah pork producers. Oh, God, wouldn't you be that big old freaking mega pork, the biggest mega pork creeps in the world are right down the road from Provo. Oh, yeah, right here in Utah. You ain't got nothing on us, Denmark. Something rotten in the new Denmark here. This was a top 10 team. Everybody was talking. Oh, this, this, I'm telling you, this game could shatter every record the NCAA's ever had. This isn't freaking Jim McMahon. This isn't Steve Young. This isn't the Holiday Bowl. I was at that game. Virginia's last drive of the first quarter was a touchdown, and all five possessions of the second quarter were touchdowns. Six straight drives, six straight scores. Touchdowns, all touchdowns. Six touchdowns. BYU's added on a field goal for the game's differential, a 45-42. Gun snap to Armstrong in an empty backfield. He throws low and too far in front of the intended... Don't tell me they're going to be a three and out. And Virginia gets to a third and six on the Virginia 29 This could be a freaking... Again, they BYU won't play on Sunday. Will they turn out the light at midnight? They won't play on Sundays, and this has got a good chance of going till midnight. 
We're talking on coming back from Pocatello. By the way, how funky is that arena up in freaking... I love that arena. What a cool arena. Oh my god, we have a three and out. So we better get this. Stay on because a punt in this game. By the way, I always go back to Jim McMahon, who I know, who lived right over here by me. First time I met him was punting in the Roy Park. I look, oh, he played on that great Roy High team. I was at Weaver High, but we lived right by each other, and I knew him. He was a punter. People don't know this. Great punter. So the 1980 team, this is what it reminds me of, the greatest team you never heard of with Jim McMahon. I think they scored 77 points one week, 70 the next points. And he was the punter. I don't think he punted once the whole season. So this name's nuts. Well, they call it it. Midnight. Here we go. I'll keep you updated. 